Welcome to the 5D Academy of Higher Consciousness. I'm Zaratustra and I'm broadcasting live from Los Angeles. The topic of the day is the way out is scary. I'd like to um, tell you about a, po a poem from one of my best friends who passed, uh, Ernie, my brother, who left his body in 2014. Uh, the way out is scary. First you get a gun, then you put two rivers together. But regardless, it's still scary. I heard this, this poetry long time ago and I it took me 10 years before I understood it. That what is the way out is scary. First you get a gun, then you put two rivers together, but regardless, it's still scary. So it took me 10 years before I understood the meaning of it. So anyway, I have in my um, lightning notes of Zarathustra, page 108, I have my own version of the way out is scary. So I want to read this to you and then then we'll get into this and I'll explain to you what I mean by the way out is scary because this is uh, related to all of us. All of us that we broke through then from the norm and we are brought in onto this spiritual path and we're pulled to it very strongly and at times it's very confusing especially there are different parts of this path that can drive you crazy uh, you may be walking through this tunnel and there are moments that you think there is no end to it. You don't see the light at the end of the tunnel. There are times that you get pulled on this path that you feel like you are not getting anywhere. You're going round and round. And you may, you may think like, oh, ignorance, ignorance is bliss. I wish I could go back and be like other people, the ordinary people, and be enjoy what they enjoy. They go to a football game, they eat hot dog, they drink their beer, they're cheering at uh, for the games. They are into media, the real um, stream, mainstream media. They they're just ordinary people. And you think, God, God, I wish I could go back and be that, but it's too late. You can't go back. And you've been touched and kissed by Her Majesty. The Supreme Soul has come and kissed you on your lips. And now you're in love. And you're hooked. So God has taught you. And you feel the presence you're pulled on this path. You may not quite understand it. Some of you have been on this path for a long time. Some of you may be new. But you can't go back to your old days. And sometimes you wished you could. And you wish you can be blending with mainstream people and not know anything about what I'm talking about. And go back to the old days, but that's too late, you can't go back. There's no way back. So, and you can't stay where you're at, so there's only one way. You have to go forward. And you don't have a choice in that. And it's gonna pull you forward. <laughs> Is 
Sorry about that. I don't know what happened. Hey, Amir, can you keep an eye on this? Yeah, sure. Okay. Yeah, I appreciate yeah, yeah. it. I yeah. So... So, so we're going to uh, talk about this, and I'm going to explain more. Uh, we'll get, in, get into it in details. But I want to read this to you. So it's the title of this uh, is The Way Out is Scary. The Way Out is Scary. First, you must reach deep down to the core of your being before you can get a glimpse of your true self. As you go deeper and get closer, your mind will throw some tantrums. Your mind will do anything to make you believe that your mind is the real you. You must be extremely diligent and persistent to keep digging deeper no matter what. Your mind will throw distractions across your path. Old addictions, new emotions, and all kinds of different fears and excuses. Still, you have to keep digging. If you want out, if you want freedom, then you have to sacrifice a piece of yourself. You may have to kill a part of yourself. You do have to pay the price. That's the, the way. That's, that's why the way out is scary. The way out is scary because you have to jump off the cliff. And you have to let go of something. And that thing you're going to have to let go is the old you. It's, it's your ideas. It's the image of yourself. It's to walk into your fears. It's to go and face your darkness. And to walk towards the light naked where God sees you 100%. And that's scary because you get exposed. But that's the way. There's no other way. That's why they say the way out is scary. <clears throat> okay, where was I? Still, you have to keep digging. If you want out, if you want freedom, then you have to sacrifice a piece of yourself. You may have to kill a part of yourself. I'm sorry, I already read that. You do have to pay the price. That's why the way out is scary. That's why only a few can make it to the other side. That's why there are so many teachers and a few masters. Not many people are willing to pay the price and walk the distance. They settle for Psychic powers, distance healing, or tarot card reading, and they think they have made it. Others may stop sooner and settle for a yoga training program or a trip to India and a few crystals in their backyard. But you have to go through your own darkest valleys and your own rolling hills of emotions to remain in devotion and be willing to confront your own false faces before you arrive at your true nature. <clears throat> 